Hey, it's Gavin here, and I've got a little eight minute core workout for you. Four exercises, twice through, 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. So, nothing too crazy. Our first exercise is called a sit through. So, I'm just going to show you this one first before we get stuck in. So, the sit through, you start like this, knees off the ground, weight on the toes and the hands, and then you roll, rotate. Hand, up. hand can come down to the ground if you need to for balance. Otherwise, keep it off the ground. You roll back into the start position. You're here. Roll again. Out it comes, or hand on the ground. So you've got to have a strong shoulder here. Hand down there. Roll back to the beginning. But that is your start and end point, okay? I think you can do that. Well, come and join me. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. So in position, we roll. Kick the leg out and roll. So just sit there and through, away we go. And once you get the hang of it, start to build in a little bit of tempo, a bit of pace. So roll and kick, roll and kick. Very, very simple, but we're working the core all the way through that horizontal twist that often doesn't get any work. So let's give it some effort today. Let's get it going. And we have a good workout, a good core workout here. So this is something you can throw in on a rest day or at the end of a workout, one of your main workouts. So let's keep it moving. Three, two, and one. Relax. Next one, rolling side plank. So we've got 10 seconds rest here, which is going to go very, very quickly. Hands in this position, okay? And here we go. So feet wide, we roll out. Notice I'm on the sides of my feet, arm comes up. Roll back to the beginning, and up. So turn and burn. We gotta have stiff legs to do this. Strong shoulder, roll, tuck it in, and roll. So turn the body, open up the chest. Oh, there we go. See, not too difficult, right? Hold it there if you need to, have a little rest. Back. Keep going. 10 seconds left. Easy peasy. Now you can go as slow or as fast as you like with that one, okay? All right, our next one, we're gonna go Spider-Man Plank. You can go high or low. I'll show you the high version first. We're up here in that plank position. You're gonna bring your knee up, and just lean shoulders forward slightly. From there, back, controlled. So it's core and shoulders here. If you can manage that one, try down low as well. And for some of you that have weak shoulders, you might prefer the low version. So we're here. Just rocking those shoulders forward slightly. Don't forget to breathe. Last few seconds. And relax. Down we go. And then our final exercise in the series is the flutter kick. So it's a chance to get a little bit of a rest here. Now the hands acting as a bit of a shelf underneath. We're here. You can keep your head down if you struggle with your neck. Otherwise, up here. And we control that movement, trying to keep that lower back pushed down, which is why I've got my hands under my butt slightly to help slant it down towards the ground. Well, here we go. So I'll make sure I don't knock the timer off. Let's keep it going. Trying to pull your belly button down. If at any point you're struggling, give yourself a couple of seconds rest and then go again. That's all it is. Try and push through it. Try not to stop completely. Big no-no. Keep going, come on. And relax. So, 10 seconds rest. Back through one more time. Okay, that's sit through. How did you go on the first time round? Hands in position. We're here. Okay, we roll, kick it out. Hand down to the floor if you need to, otherwise keep it off the ground. Work that balance. 
Turn and burn. Now I'm going at a steady pace here, but if you've already got the hang of this one, you can speed it up. Really try and see how many reps you can get out. Try and push yourself. Good twist. Kick it out. Sit there if you need to for a rest, but then get moving again. Nearly done, nearly there. Last few reps. And relax. Let me strengthen things up here. All right, next up. Side plank with that roll. Here we go. In position, wide feet. Roll onto the heels. Back to the middle and roll. Open up your chest. And make sure you're not holding your breath at any point, which is very easy to do when you're doing these core workouts. Last few seconds. Come on. And relax. Quick breather, 10 seconds. Get ready to go again. Spider-Man plank. Are you gonna go high or are you gonna go low? So I'm gonna go low in this position here. Rock it forward and back. Now make sure you haven't got your butt up in the air like this or your hips sagging down. So we're strong through the legs. Don't forget to breathe. It's getting a little tasty now. And relax. Good work, good work. Last one. So here we go, flutter kicks. Onto your back. Get a bit of a rest here. Lie back. Set your hands in position. And here we go. Good control. If you're struggling to keep that lower back push down, go that little bit higher. All right, and test yourself. Go low, if it gets too tricky, go high. Go low. And if you can, stay low. So make sure I've got my shelf there. Keeping that lower back pushed in. Let's do this. Last one. I need to push that lower back in. Not long left. Grit your teeth time. Come on, finish strong. And relax. So there we go. Just eight minutes, nothing fancy. As is always the case, you don't need to go crazy with any loony, toony sort of exercises. So you just push yourself, you work hard, you build that progression. And as I said, you can use that as an off day workout, as a bit of active rest, or tag it on to one of your other workouts, okay? Right, hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.